Hello everyone, welcome back to Feed the Beast. So as you can see, I've got all of this set up. I've got my inputs coming in. Everything's working good. Got a cobble cobblestone, a cobblestone generator going. So this is working out quite well. Uh, I went and got my squeezer and fermenter. So I'm gonna set all that up. So, yeah, it's uh, coming along pretty good. All that's doing good. So I think I'm going to set it up over here. But I need an energy tesseract. To get this going. Look, an energy tesseract. So, let's plop this right there. Grab you. We'll just run a nice line around along there. So we'll start with the fermenters. Plunk them down here. We'll deal with the squeezers later. Pick that guy up. So I need some import and export buses. And I'm probably going to need more cabling than that. Let's grab a whole buttload. Import. I guess I don't really need the import buses for that. Because I just need to do that. And that and then we can do a liquid liquid tesseract there we go set all these to output mode and now I just need to power them so we'll break that one that one and that one Hey, where's my levers? There's my levers. Blop. 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 Perfect. So, I'm just going to set these up. I put that one in. Yeah, I don't want it there. Damn it. There. Move full stack. One thing I noticed these things don't have is they've got move stack, move single item with craft, always craft, move single item, and then back to the stack. I would like a move full stack plus craft. I think that would be handy. All right. Oh, I didn't set that one. There we go. Perfect. So now this has to be set to biomass. Whoa, send only. Out. Oh. Yeah, that's right. And that has to be power plant. And I just need to connect this up. Where's that? Oh. Hmm. Ay, ay, ay. Just putting things in the wrong spot. Quit bouncing away. So I'm just thinking I'll just do this. Hey, hey, hey. Those are not what I want there. Uh, sometimes that thing is more of a nuisance than it's worth. Hmm. Do, do, and I do. Oh. There. 
toy effect. So that fills that up. Awesome. Let's grab this. And I need... Uh, let's do saplings. I don't have any saplings. A little bit of wheat. Um... What is it? Cactus? Is it a cacti? Oh man, what else does this thing... What else? I am drawing a complete blank on what else this thing can take. Oh my god. Oh, plant balls and compressed plant balls. We'll start with this. Let's do plant ball, compressed plant ball, cactus, wheat, plant ball. No, 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 no mark. No, bad. God damn it. Wheat and cactus. I don't really care about the order, to be honest. I want the plant balls first. The wheat and the cactus. Well, it can come and go as it pleases. Ah, fuck. Whatever. Not whatever. No. Wheat has to be last. Or wheat and cactus have to be last. Okay. And last one. Because I'm making those plant balls specifically for this reason. And there's a whiny cat. Okay. Oh crap. I need water. Uh, neglected the water aspect of this. Nope. I want that. I want that and that. That one. And some. Uh, fuck off. Uh, I'm gonna have to hurt a cat. I don't even know where he's hiding. He came all the way down here just to whimper and whine. Well, take a poop and winter and whimper and whine. And water, receive, go. And that'll fill that up. So it should go. Receive only. Okay, so why is this not going? We've got water. We've got stuff. We should have pop. Right. That's not going to work. I need to do that. It wasn't in output mode. That's a liquid tesseract. I want an energy tesseract. Now it should go. Yeah, now we're working with propane. All right. Biomass production hath begun. Sweet. So, and these are producing the plant balls from the sticky resin. 
Coincidentally, it's also producing rubber, but, you know, it's not what I'm after. And I guess those would be next. Now these are going to need the import and the export. Because this is going to be that. And those two are going to be like that. Or I should probably do this first. Because these are going to produce apple juice. Apple juice. Out, out. Okay, good. I'm going to snap that. No. And there. So that should output all of that. Now, where am I going to put the apple juice tesseract? Hmm. I could put it here. Maybe I'll put it, just take these down here. The hell, where'd that thing go? Things bounce around too much. Okay. Liquid tesseract here, or liquid duct, and liquid tesseract, apple juice, apple juice, receive, no, send, apple juice. So that should take care of that. Now I just need apples, apples, apples. I have no apples. Well then. All right, well, I guess I will go and get some apples. And be right back. All right, welcome back. So we're back at the uh, frame quarry, just trying to figure out what is going on. So if you look here, like the overworld is 5.9, the void is 4.57, that kind of makes sense. That's actually a significant reduction. It's been sitting at around 12 to 14 for the last little while. 4.57, we have one chunk loader in there. Loading most of what we've got. Uh, this one here is the mining age. The only thing in the mining age right now is this quarry. Now these numbers right now aren't a big deal. Overworld just jumped up. 2.82 isn't too bad seeing as how I'm in here. And this is running. But yesterday, or for the last few days actually, we've had a few hiccups where all of a sudden the CPU usage on the server just jumps to 100% and everything slows to a crawl. And it's only been in the mining and the void world. They have jumped up to like 250, 300 milliseconds, which is just stupid. Now, I was trying to think of what would have caused it, and I have no idea. Because, like, we first noticed it when Dweebus tried to set up six quarries. I don't know exactly what he was doing. He said he was testing something. But he set up the six quarries, and this was still going. And that's when all hell broke loose. But I didn't have the TPS command installed, 
so I couldn't do it. Or, no, I had the TPS command installed, I just forgot that I had it installed. I thought I hadn't installed it. Um, so either way, I didn't do it. Didn't check the TPS, so I don't know what that was all about. We ended up taking down the quarries. Like, I disabled the quarries, but they were still running. But at full power, they were doing, you know, that. And then they would slowly move to the next block. That. Slowly move to the next block. That. Slowly move to the next block. That. Like, and they were at full power. And apparently, I didn't come and check this, but Dweebish came and checked this. And said that this was doing similar. It was just going down one. Wait. 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 Down one. Like, it was just dead ass slow and I think that is what attributed to where is it uh, there was a spot here that was all fucked up and I don't know how far back it was should be be somewhere around here I think because I remember that hmm I don't know uh whatever that really doesn't matter I gotta come and take down these silverwood trees but yeah so I'm just trying to figure out what the hell that problem was it's kind of mind-boggling like, I almost think that it's related to the storage system. But if it was related to the storage system, it should have done it in the overworld as well. Like, it's either that or it's chunk loaders. Like any more recently placed chunk loaders. Because I'm looking at my console log and I'm getting a lot of, you know, uh, concurrent modification exceptions. And it's anvil chunk loader .java is one of the files listed. So I'm I'm not sure, but I wanted to start this because I had turned it off, and we're still golden. So I don't know. I do not know. We'll let this run and see what happens. Let's head over to the old factory, and as you can see. Damn near everything is gone. And I think we have some wisps. I broke all of these. I broke one block in each one of them. Just so that they were no longer formed. Except for the milk one. The milk one stays here. Oh yeah, you probably noticed. Bessie's gone. When Dweebush was setting this mess up, he may have blown something up. May or may not have, I should say. And we're thinking that may have killed Bessie. Which make me sad. Bessie was kind of a feature of the factory here. But yeah, all of this is gone. You saw me set that up earlier. These are back up and running. Although piss poorly as per usual. Got some fapping going on there. Uh, I changed this very slightly. Program on this turtle. It no longer sucks up this. So we now have two brains in a jar giving experience. Simply because it allows us to enchant things faster. Because when we hit this, some of it actually goes into the turtle. Why does the slime spawner keep getting turned off? Man, I'm going to have to do something about that. Guess I could just, you know, break it and be like, Ha! You're always on, sucker. Wow. <laughs> Apparently still down here, 
I get 14 frames per second when I look this way. That's the way to Woopterson's house. But, yeah, this place is pretty much dead as a doornail. Still got this thing going. Not really the most efficient cobble generator. Even though he knows of the other one, he probably forgot. But he still built more of these. So inefficient. So requiring power. Oh well, whatever. I got this guy still running. Nice little tesseract. No longer do I have the massive piping. To be honest, I don't know. Oh no, I do need that. I, I could, I think, remove one pipe and put you, put him right on this and have the pipe going out, but, you know, whatever. Uh, those gates are required, although I could move that to there, and that would shrink this a bit, but whatever. Don't really care. Uh, this can pretty much all go to hell. I'll probably put an energy tesseract on there. Actually, do I have one? I do not. And then cut down all of this. Uh, I also need to find a place. Oh, he kind of left this. And the canning machine that I think was used once. Actually, I think he's leaving these just because he can. Uh, I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with all of this crap. All of this needs to be dealt with at some point in the future. And how is my biomass tank? Biomass tank is empty. Why? Should you not be? Not be? Oh, I turned you off. Okay, that would do it. Don't know exactly why I turned them off. But... Holy hell. Sulfur torches up the wazoo, or sulfur goo up the wazoo. Haha. -ha. I got hit in the butt. Jesus. Is that just from that? Like, are. Now, this place should still be chunk-loaded. Or not. No chunk-loader. Really? I guess uh, Dweebish took the chunk-loader out. But that shouldn't have affected that, should it? That's a hell of a lot of frickin' sulfur. You. It's got to be from those torches, because, you know, there's no other sulfur torches around. It's just those ones and those ones. That's insane. It's good, because this shit can be used as fertilizer. Anyway, let's head to the Void Factory and see what we've got set up here. Dweebush was working on something over there, so we'll probably show that. Made this double wide. I don't like going into one by one holes. They're a pain in the ass. So, the hell? Um. Uh, where is the... I'm confused. I am very confused. These recyclers... No longer accepting cobble? Oh, I guess he may have needed cobble. That explains that, but... Oh wait, I moved the I moved the wireless up there. Oh, I guess he brought over the pattern encoder. 
What the shit? You know what? You guys all fuck off into there. Done. So he brought the pattern encoder over. I put the wireless up there. And as you see here, I moved things around a little bit. I now have the controller here. The power there. It's a IDSU to an AESU to a MFSU and a um, high voltage transformer here. The high voltage transformer, this is set to 2048. I can charge my gravity plate up in it. And the reason why I've got the IDSU and then an AESU is because I'm the only one that can access this IDSU. It's linked to me, so nobody else can access it. They can right click on, right click on it for days and nothing happens. So I put the AESU here so that other people can access it. This is here so that we can split off and get more packets going. That's purely what that is. This has its own dedicated side on it. It's going all along here. These are all upgraded with four transformer upgrades, which I think will actually allow them to take 2048. Not, yeah, 2000, no, it should be 1024, I think. I don't know, whatever. It's higher, but I'm only ha I only have 512 going in, but I have multiple packets of 512 going in. And then this here goes to the medium voltage and then a low voltage transformer to go to these centrifuges, which are supposed to be centrifuging sticky resin, but apparently that has been turned off for some reason. Oh, and he's got these set up again. What the hell? Why does he have... Um... God damn you. <laughs> Why am I going over there? There's no terminal there. Uh, right. Copper. Copper. Uh, I guess I won't do all of that. Okay, silver I don't think can be macerated, right? Oh, yep. Yeah. It can be. And now that I've used it all. Uh, uranium. There's iron. And what else do I need? I don't know anything about that Galena. Oh, tin, lead, don't care about appetite, do I have this on? sort by numbers, fucking sort by name, okay, that copper, that's the main copper, those two I'm just gonna manually macerate. Okay, well, let's get these going in there for now, at least. I would much rather have this actually doing what I wanted it to do and what we originally set it up to do. Did I put the lead in there? I did. Okay. We'll just throw you in there. And do we have anything else? I don't think aluminum can be macerated. Put the two copper ore in there. Ooh. Hey, hey. <laughs> and then we need dust. I should probably do this off camera. Really? Bath salt dust? 
coal. Okay, copper. Don't care about ender pearl. Iron, lead. Steel dust can't do anything with. Tin. Tiny piles of tungsten, tiny piles of flint. All right, I guess that's pretty much all I've got right now. Now I've got the silver in there already. Copper, iron, lead. There, that's a bit better. Ashes. So, I don't know where the hell those things went to. Did, are they in here? I'm going to have to figure out what happened to those. But let's go and take a look at what Dweebish is doing. <laughs> he built a giant fucking centrifuge. Oh, God. Now, is there a way in to this giant fucking centrifuge? He's not really known for making entrance ways. Oh. Look at that. There is. Now, can I get in? Okay. So what do we got here? We've got a medium. Get out of my hand. See, we can't access the IDSU, but the AESU we can. So we've got 512 going into a medium voltage, going into the extractor, which he's using to get rid of the um, compressed air. And then, yeah, so he's just centrifuging everything up. Oh, he's got the mass fabricator here. Except he doesn't have it exporting anything. Oh, what a nub. Except he's got this set up wrong. He is such a noob. I don't know why the hell he put it over here. This doesn't seem like a... And he's got... What? I'm going to have to ask him what his thought process on this was. Because he's got the power running from over there. Okay, you know what? This block is fucking going. Oh, he's got the power running all the... Why? <sighs> that boy does things that confuse the shit out of me. It was running perfectly fine here. There were no problems. At least that I saw. But he's got this set up way wrong. So, I'm going to have to ask him about that later tonight. But... I need to figure out what to put in these tanks. How is my... Apple juice is doing great. Biomass is doing... Well, it's doing. So I need to work on farms. These guys are not producing a whole lot. Because there's not enough. Like, what do I got here? For saplings. Let's, oh, you've got some saplings in you. Kind of wish these things worked with these redwood saplings. It would be really nice to be able to pop them in there and have them go. But it doesn't, it just kind of ignores the damage value on them. Which is annoying. Very, very annoying. Um, that just boggles my mind. 
Could have easily just run that line right down if there was a power problem, which I don't think there was. But I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. So I'll question him about that because <laughs> that's confusing. But yeah, I think I'm actually going to leave this here today. I love his <laughs> designing, though. His organization skills are lacking, but his designing is fabulous. So, thank you all for watching. Next episode, hopefully we'll be able to set up some farms. You guys all have a great day. Take care.